Just got off our dinghy here over at Black Point. Welcome aboard Encore. We are off on a wild adventure to see and explore together, one anchorage, dive, and hike at a time, with the goal of living each and every day to its fullest. I'm Natalie, that's TJ, our pup Camo, and my dad and captain Mike. We spent last season on the East Coast and now it's time to head south. Make sure to join us as we cruise through the Caribbean on an adventure of a lifetime. Welcome to Black Point. Black Point is a small town located in the Exumas where a lot of locals live. It is also a spot that we were told by multiple boaters we had to visit. So, here we are. Just got off our dinghy here over at Black Point. And there's a whole feeding frenzy going on. We got rays and nurse sharks. They're over here cleaning conch and fish. This is just amazing. I could sit here for hours and watch this, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me feel so lovely. I keep on running, no, I shouldn't want it. I keep on pulling right until you're done. I can't get you off my mind. So sweet, yeah, I need it from you. Got my hands all on you, sweet. Everything I wanted. Sugar like, yes, please, love is like candy. We're gonna see where everything's at. Everyone loves camo here. Like, camo is a big, big deal here. Which is shocking because we found that a lot of places we've been, they're very scared of dogs in the Bahamas, and everyone yeah, here like loves him. How could you not? <laughs> yeah, but most of our talents, he comes by and everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god. So they just have more aggressive dogs here. Everyone's like, can I pet your puppy? After some exploring in town and a failed grocery mission, we headed over to the sandbar to let Camel run around because this puppy dog does not like to be on a leash. He finds it completely unnecessary. This sandbar becomes exposed at low tide and turns into an awesome place to walk around and explore. We found more sand dollars and starfish here than we have ever seen before in one area. Actually, probably more than we've seen this entire time in the Bahamas. Here you can see the trail from the sand dollar walking across the sand. It seems that tourists have taken so many shells and sand dollars from beaches that you rarely see them anymore. So seeing hundreds like this was a real treat. And please, if you do come across a sand dollar or any other ocean treasure, just leave it where you found it so that the next person can enjoy it as well. Because like the famous quote says, if you love a flower, don't pick it up because if you pick it up, it dies and ceases to be what you love. So if you love a flower or a sand dollar, let it be. Love is not about possession, love is about appreciation. Something is smelling very good. What are you up to? I'm making, just cutting up some radishes, but we're gonna have some Buddha bowls. What is a Buddha bowl? It's like a big bowl of grains or veggies and things like that, kind of all loaded up. So we're gonna do a base of um, 
rice, and then I have some chickpeas cooking outside, and then we're going to do some oven roasted broccoli and red onions, and sweet potatoes, and uh, saute some chickpeas, and layer it all up together in a little bowl with some tahini dressing. Wow. It'll be a Buddha bowl. How long till it's ready? An hour. That's not too bad. 45 minutes probably. Cool. Is there anything I can do to help you? Make it colder in here. Well, it's been about an hour. How are we looking for dinner? It is getting very close. The fish is ready. I made a little like a Cajun white fish. What kind of fish is that? Um, I think it's snapper. I'm pretty sure it's snapper. And rice and garbanzos and Oh, we're steaming mm -hmm. up. And then there's a uh, broccoli and onions and potatoes down there. I made a nice little tahini dressing. I'm sweating right now. <laughs> you tell I'm sweating? Yeah. You look hot? It's, uh, you always look hot. Oh, <laughs> it's 85 degrees in here. Yeah, it's a hot little area right now. It'll cool off quickly as soon as I open this window. I just yeah. can't leave it open. Or else it blows my little flames out. So we have the sweet potatoes, oven roasted Ooh, broccoli. Yummy. <laughs> that is an insane amount of food. <laughs> and normally for Buddha bowls, I would put like some like kale or even saute kale on the bottom of it. But we are running out of our fresh food, which you probably really can't tell. But we haven't been to a grocery <laughs> store in like two weeks and we're not going to be at one for another. No, we were at a grocery store a week ago, week and a half. But we're not going to be at another grocery store, like a real grocery store for like a month. <laughs> Full moon. How good is it? So good. Delightful. I'm very happy. You ready to go look at the supermoon? I guess so. It looks really bright. I was in the shower and it was like lighting up the whole water, so I feel like we have to go watch it for a little bit. You gonna crawl out the window? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's usually easier when there's not a dog right here. Oh man, this moon is so bright. I might need a little boost. <laughs> Can I stand on you? Sure. Ow! <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Anchorage. Looks like Kama was ready to go to the beach. <laughs> it was gorgeous Anchorage all to ourselves. Very nice. And we have the beach that's super close over to us. So we're gonna head over there and go for a little beach walk and then go do a little uh, snorkeling later. Look at you sitting there. <laughs> and sitting on the side is too much. Babe, 
Successful? Yeah. TJ, what are you watching? National Geographic. Why are we over here watching National Geographic? I'm trying to figure out what what this stingray is that we saw in the water today. It was so I, I can't find anything on Google even remotely close to the size of what we found, other than freshwater stingrays, but that's not counting we're just counting ocean stingrays. Yeah, we're looking at oceanic stingrays, and there's a yeah, there's one in uh, Asia in the freshwater that is really really big. <laughs> I'm literally sitting here trying to figure out what these are. And there's one kind of in the ocean that's a small eyed or yes. pea eyed or it is. It's this one. It's a uh, a small eyed stingray. Which it doesn't look like that. So there's a chance that what we saw is just like a super old common stingray. But, but even there's a chance it's that. There's a chance that it's a PI. There's a chance that it's a lot of things because, I mean, we, we really cannot find any information about this thing. Like, there's no other photos showing other ones as big. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just a giant stingray and, or maybe it's a gem. It could be. Here, show us a photo on your phone. We just finished. It will, it will make every other stingray look small from here on out. Like that is me. And that is me swimming next to the stingray. And of course we edited this for color compared to where we were in the ocean before, but I mean we didn't change the size or anything. That's all that um like sand ahead of it. It was eating so it was kicking up sand, which is why the water's all cloudy. But uh <laughs> It's huge. It was giant. Well, these last few days have been absolutely extraordinary, especially the part when we found what very well may be the largest stingray in all of the Bahamas. 
After our discovery, we got into contact with local free divers, and no one has seen a bigger stingray down here, so we are feeling very fortunate. Make sure to join us next week as we get up close and personal with some land animals at one of the most spectacular spots thus far.